I had it put down a unit. Word load down. Their shtick is that uh, I had a stick once. If I get exploding sixes, if you're closest. Okay. To me. Um, All my characters down. Such a big dick move. Right there. <laughs> no, right? Just like, oh. <laughs> look at look at the size of my crack. This is my dinosaur here, roar. This is the equivalent of the Tyranid pickup truck. Trying to pick me up. <laughs> After I painted my venom thrips, I realized I made them up to look like rose bushes, which it was not my intention. <laughs> I was like, oh, those are red and green. They're very flowery. You're a flower. <laughs> no, we just have nowhere else to put it. Well, he'll have to put it down. Soon. He's he's just an intimidation factor, you know. He's just a he's just a sergeant, by the way. He's just a sergeant. Okay. He's just sergeant around in that squad. Cool. Um. So are we already feeding audio. Cool. So for anyone who wants to know, my reserves are two units of rippers and a lictor. My entire list is high fleet Kronos. So if I don't move, reroll once to hit. In the shooting phase only, not for Overwatch. I've seen some other channels make that mistake. I used to make that mistake. Scrubs. Ah, three, six, seven. <clears throat> Ocho. I'm running a uh, cust. I'm running two detachments. So you have the battalion detachment, which is the guard, uh, and that's a custom. I did spotter details, which gives me six inches on all of my heavy weapons um, that are over 24 inches, I believe. Which gives it the, the significance is it makes my demolisher tanks 30 inch guns. And then I took the, I forget what the other one's called, I think it's gunnery experts or something, but it gives me reroll number of shots. Back to you, my good sir. Uh, my list itself is just a bunch of, bunch of guardsmen. Bunch of big boys They're running not around. Just a bunch of guardsmen. They have names. They're the Emperor's finest. Um, uh, besides Space Marines, of course. You can't, you can't compare to the Space Marines. How do you think the regular Space Marines feel about Primaris? <laughs> Finally realizing what it's like to be one ups. <laughs> <laughs> How do the Scions feel about the Space Marines? Like. Space Marines don't even care. Do I want to put the mortar team there? I don't actually don't think I do. I do think the mortar team is a significant threat to you. They are. They can do a lot. Especially um, with that blast roll. Yeah, that blast roll. Um, I owe you a drop, though. I have five down. You have five I down. I have two, one, two, one. three, four, five, six down. Oh, yeah. What should you deploy first? So. Yes. It is my turn. Um, I don't know if I want to put this unit of guardsmen. I don't think they really Yet. One weird thing for my list that we haven't had to experience in our games is that I don't have any high fleet Kraken, so my Gaunts are actually pretty slow. They don't do the three dice advance. Look at that. I don't have a stratagem to double their advance. So for the viewers watching, this un this game will unfortunately be pretty heavily determinant on who goes first. I would agree with that. <laughs> but I do think because of that giant dragon thing um chris is advantaged in this game because we did the math on if three demolisher tanks on average on average would would shoot at it to kill it uh they would be unable to bring it down it would average like 28 wounds out of my 34 um now yeah now i can take it down but the reality of of the game is that I probably won't get all three in, in range because it's a long board. All right, I got to drop more gaunts. And also for my squad, just explaining lists and whatnot, I have four squads of 20 gaunts. Of course, the list have been put up at some point by Mr. Dom. And um, everything's Kronos, lots of gaunts. Um, we got some reserves. Both of us have some reserves. Your reserves are kind of scary, honestly, the melty guns. Yeah. Um, this is a new list for everyone watching. Um, I've never... This is a pretty big departure from what I normally play. Same. 
Um, well, except the hive guard next, I guess. But well, yeah, core elements will be the same. But like, I've never taken three demolisher tank commanders. I would normally only take one. Um, in this matchup, I actually don't. It gives me a chance of killing that thing. Um, I don't know if it really matters. But cool. Yeah. I've got two more drops left before I'm out of drops. Yeah. So interestingly enough, I'll be done with drops before you. That's not that uncommon. <laughs> it's true, your guard. <laughs> yeah. It's one of the, it's actually one of the one of the advantages of guard. Uncommon for me. I bet. But I usually don't have a seven hundred point model on the table. I bet. <laughs> Uh, our team here. One of the sad things about this list is I'm not running any company commanders, but I'm also running less guardsmen, and guardsmen that means die. no veteran squads. Yeah, I don't have uh, command squads. The plasma guns. I actually, you taught me about that because somebody in the guard group, well, not the guard group, not one veterans one. command. There's a yeah. difference. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. There's there's three so for an Astro Militarum in the elite slot, there's three different ways to take special weapons. <laughs> Are you uh He's did, dealing with all the combat. Did you already drop something? I have three seven. Okay, cool. How far how far back can I get him without getting him off the table? You're ridiculous. And you gotta measure to the base. <laughs> uh, yeah. So for um for range, not for line of sight, correct? correct. Yeah. Okay, that's what I thought. You can see this. You can see this. You can. I have one drop left. I will start moving models in my direction because honestly, whatever you do is not going to affect my decision here. <laughs> oh, also for anyone watching, anyone who knows Tyranid weapons well, um, my gaunts are not WYSIWYG. Uh, there's a lot of... Disgraceful. Fine fists and devourers in the units. Everything has flesh pores. Okay. I actually have enough flesh pores, but some of them are painted my old scheme, which there's a few of them snuck into these squads. The lighter flesh tone. I'm not a fan of this. I've gotten better at painting, I would like to think. And, uh... They look better than mine, though. Some, most of mine need to be stripped. I mean, listen, man. Although not everyone that I brought needs to be stripped. That's true, but I feel like I was real dumb at painting for, for, for many, many years. Because, like, John just started this edition of 40K. I've been playing since, like, fourth. It's true. I did start I less than a year ago. Which is proof that you don't have to play this game for a very long time to get decent at it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So that should be a, um, you're done, right? Yeah, I have everything down. Deploy away. Oh, no, I lied. I have one more thing. <gasps> the hive guard. That's actually... <laughs> that actually would have been a pretty big swing. if they. That would have made me it. very sad if I, got, I went to go shoot my hive guard, and I was like, huh, they're not on the table. On the table yet. Because you would have had to... I, what I would have done is I would have said, all right, well, now you have to spend a CP to put them in reserve. Strat reserve them. And you that would be... are diabolical, sir. All right, well, I'm deployed. So now I'm hitting an interesting question. I've got an interesting Unfortun answer. Unfortunately for me, strategy-wise, my demolisher tanks are important to me um, because my opponent has taken assassinate, so they're worth three points each. And if I lose them, and of course they're a significant part of my firepower. Now, if you look at the stats for that big dumb oh, dragon wow, he wow. has. He has the ability to pick up at least 
two of my tanks a turn. And unfortunately, I don't think there's a way that I can deploy where I can hide all five of my tanks. Not with my I, movement. Now I, not with his movement. Now I did, before you say about the strategic reserves, that is a heavy CP cost. And the problem is, yes, I can bring them onto the table on turn two. However, they wouldn't get two shots per gun because that would counter their max movement. So that means problems for John. Now, so then the question is, since this is going to come down to a die roll, how do I deploy? So if in the chance that I get to go first, I can actually hurt him. You so then line breaker. I did. And deploy scramblers. Grambies. And what was your third one? What was my third one? <laughs> Bet he wrote it down. Bet he, he did. did it for me. It was line breaker. It was deploy scramblers. Wasn't it to like uh, grind them down or send their ranks? One of the two. I have to take them in their ranks. Ugh. I think you did. I think I did. Yeah. So that was another disadvantage. So for the viewers at home, uh, my old list, I when I run one tank commander and two manticores, I would rely on a while we stand, we fight, um, which is a very, and mostly protecting the two manticores, um, which was a very, very effective competitive decision um, that did lead me to win my first RTT. Here. Um, ah, well, I should have measured that. So this distance is shorter than I thought. Cut. So that hurts me. Um, I think I'll put this one here. Then. I hate this map with a. Can't swear. I hate this map with a passion. With an expletive this passion. My, this is my least favorite map specifically because of this smaller deployment zone. Oh, you can charge me. No. Ugh. Probably, yeah. Uh, <laughs> move the tanks. God damn, I can't. Stupid. And in close combat, the Herodin does flat six damage. Yeah, I'm not going to charge with it. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to. Charge. I would have been real sad if you made me pick up three of my tanks. I, um... Go. Listen, man. <laughs> listen. Listen, The, the tank commanders are 12 wounds? Yes. <sighs> but I only want... have three up armor. Yeah. He ate. I just don't want to have to pump damage to, yeah. like, make sure I reliably kill them, but I might have to. I can double check. I mean, it's worth it, right? Like. Oh, definitely. 100%. Uh, so for my reserves, for those at home, because it actually kind of does matter, um, I have uh, two Meltagun squads, command squads, two Tempestor Scions, one with the command rod, so we can give two orders, and then three squads of regular Scions. Um, some of my Meltagun guys aren't modeled that way, because I haven't built them yet. I'm at home, I just haven't everything down yeah oh man so can we do 2d6 see you goes first uh yes. yeah we're done with deployment why because because it reduces the chance of a tie we don't know we yet. haven't rolled it yet let's increase that chance of a tie make it dramatic for the viewers okay yep. all right rolling for first <laughs> Okay, roll it up. Huh. That's a three. That's a four. The guard will go first. Thank the Emperor. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thanks, Dom. Are, is this the dice table we're going to be using for the game? Okay. Anything you got to do in your command phase? Get my command point. Like a champion. Hi, how are you? Picking up dice. Move some of this stuff out of my way. Let's see. <sighs> this is where I'm real sad about this not working. This was too short for me to put my demolisher tank here. 
Oh, yeah. So I may not even get all three of them be able to shoot your thing. Which is just sadness on top of sadness. Okay, so I guess it's my turn. Um, God, I hate the movement phase. <laughs> <laughs> Too many dudes. Should have played custodes. Should have played custodes. Okay. Well, I will put these guys into the onto the point in their minus four. Oh, and the mission is a scouring. I mean, I think that's pretty obvious based off the objectives, but nonetheless. Told to, right? Yeah. Yep, yep. Jesus. So these guys, the second line here, they're actually not going into the woods, but they're going to be on the objective. Okay. Because that is how you win games of Warhammer. All right. So you gained once you're up to 10 CP. I'm up to 10 command points. Now I'm going to go on my tirade that Chris has already heard many times. I don't know what you're talking where, about there. Where I'm upset. I have strong feelings about a particularly strong stratagem. That was released in my 2017 book. Maybe even the new one. I don't remember which book it was in. But it's my max shot stratagem that my demolisher tank gets to use. However, unfortunately, it does not work against monsters. Only vehicles. So despite that giant... I don't have vehicles, sir. And unfortunately, Chris is a friend of mine. And we face each other a lot. So him not having vehicles is a problem. <laughs> His tanks not no. having that keyword is sort of an issue uh, but they did fix it for the orders for the um scions uh i don't think you've ever faced scion orders before have you not really no the only difference is they have one that lets me reroll all failed wounds against monsters or vehicles so take that to refresh my memory you did engage uh, sorry, you did line breaker ranks and scramblers. Or did you do, do dom no? You did line breaker. You can't do line breaker and domination. That's right. That's Just right. Robbing it in. Maybe I should have taken domination over line breaker. I mean, because it's a five objective hold at least two. I don't think that would have been a bad choice, but it's also a ballsy choice. Yeah, because I think you can outshoot me. Maybe. Um, and that objective isn't really that like easy to keep. Onwards. Ellie ho Yeah, I'm thinking, because you have minus one to hit auras. Yeah. Actually, I'm pretty sure everything is currently being affected by... Uh, no, not your hive guard. Um, you're right. They're not. They're right. Yeah, I am. <laughs> but I don't think I'm going to be able to kill your... <laughs> I don't think I'm going to be able to range this thing. Yeah. Well, maybe. Hold on. So I can see him, even if he's behind these ruins... Yes, um, okay. as long as you actually true have true line of sight. Okay, he... but, but I can have true line of sight with him anywhere. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> okay, so let's see. But you still have That's to be able to base, measure right? for range to his base. Maybe I can get range on him, actually. Which is about this back from the first spine. Yeah, I'm actually going to be able to do it. That was not on his base, though, as you had. Hold on. 30 inch gun. Spotter uh, details. He has custom Spotter uh, details. That's how you do it, man. So if you move, if you move under five, even Vestorian would give it to me. So that would put me right here. No, Vestorian actually against him wouldn't. So the reason why I don't take Vestorian, Vestorian have a really, really, really strong. Am I short? Right oh, short. Damn. How short am I? Uh, it was over an inch for sure. Hold on a second. Because the point is actually almost right here on the spine. Okay. I'm going to try to figure out a way I can game this. So what if... So 35 inches, right? So I can... if I Because I can move him up to five, right? So... No. Nah. It's a main half. cannon can still shoot foot. Yep. 
I mean, I can definitely hit him with, with 1d6. Yes. Okay. But 2d6 is going to be an issue. So to, to give the audience an idea of what I'm trying to do here, um, I am trying to hit his tank with my demolish. I guess it's really not that complex. So. Acting trying like to shoot his gun. I'm trying to fire my tank into his tank and do tank stuff. He went a little too far. Just do this. I may give them an order. Perfect. Definitely going to slide my bully boys up. I actually haven't seen a lot of kids at the club. I think kids would be a good thing. Assuming they were annoying. I'm a dink. I'm okay with I'm not being here. What's a dink mean? Double income, no kids. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm sure Keith is very fulfilled, but you know, God Keith. bless him, but... It's not thing. my lifestyle. Hey, you know what? No one's perfect, right? I'm like a desert. I could support a cactus. That's about it. <laughs> Speaking of deserts, um, don't they have a new sandwich? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Sorry. They're doing plugs for... Okay. Oh, the guys in this squad with the slab shields yep. are the guys holding the slab. Okay. Revolutionary. Well, it hasn't always been that way. <laughs> <laughs> so so that's why I'm telling you. Like, the, these guys. These with the cool little... The rusted shield. Yeah, yeah. The, the tank doors that they literally just picked up and then made better. It's guard... a slab and a shield. My, my bully boys. I think the... I think the solution here. How far do these guys move? Uh, they can go six plus advance. They can't advance and charge, though, right? Correct. What's going on here? What's shot? Nothing is shot. John is moving. I'm still moving. Yeah. The movement phase this time around is actually pretty important. First turn movement phase is always important. But... Yeah. Yeah. Whatever. What's the worst that could happen? Destruction. You just waste three hours. <laughs> but you could have ended on the first turn. So I'm setting these guys up like this to um, screen his dumb dragon from charging me. Well, although I think he's going to be able to charge me anyway. Or just clear the screen and then hit me. Or he's just going to fly over me. Great. Yeah, or he's just going to fly over me. So the answer is... Okay, so you're going to be able to take this out. So you're going to slide up. You're five inches. Yep. And then you. Uh, so that was actually something I noticed before the game started, and I said to him. Yeah, <laughs> but 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 I but I didn't put submit the list that way, so I'm like, well. Yeah, that's what I told him. I, sure. Yeah, but but yes, the that audience person up. is right. It did come up before the game started. Um. The reason why is I built this list this week, so it hasn't been fully tuned yet. But I'm happy we're on the same page. All right, move you five inches there. That puts me, ooh, hold on. Hold on, you go there. Oh, range to the base. Yes. Oh, I actually, don't think I can hit you with the other one my demolisher tanks. Yeah. So also for the audience, uh, the ruling locally has been that the Herodon has to be on a bigger base, like at least a flyer base. So my model is on a traditional flyer base, but the actual Herodon's base is about demon prince size, which is rife for abuse. <laughs> it's it's literally 
Yeah. The width of it is smaller than a demon prince, but it is longer than a demon prince by almost the same. I think I think the the surface area is actually the same. I would have to guess. No, I can get there. Cool. So check check for me. So this is this is touch. This is over your base, correct? Um, yes, because I, I was looking at twenty nine for a second. I think I think you just barely have it. Hold on, right there. So so that would be thirty. Right there, right? That's over um, your base. I'm gonna say. Hold on, let me get from a different angle. Yeah, look at I, mine. I'm I'm leaning towards yeah. Mm. Okay, can you, drop, can you drop a dice where um where that overhangs? I got my finger right here. Okay, now. I think because if you go off the sponson. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I can do it. That's really fucking dumb. Maybe. Can he fit? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I, I, I was going to say, I don't think you can actually get the sponson in there, but I could be wrong. Um. So if I slid him... Let me actually grab a dice and move my finger, because I think my hand being there is a little yeah. obstructive. Okay. <sighs> So the question is, so the thing is, the Sponson can hover over it, but the question is, can the Sponson physically hover over it? Yeah, I, was gonna say, I don't know if your tank track is going to stop you from actually getting there or not. Oh, you mean this hitting yeah. this? It will. Because I think the model okay. itself is too large to okay, get in there. Chris, Chris is correct. I didn't think about it like that. Okay, so I am off by an inch, which, as many guys know, that is a sad, sad situation. <laughs> Um, Stay out of the An gen. inch too short. Stay out of this gen. <laughs> My better half is uh, in the audience. <gasps> <laughs> Give me those three ups, baby. Okay. I so Count that hurts. As so let me. York. So let me see if I can get range. So if thirty inches from this. Can we see if that's over your base? So my base, you'd be right around, hold on. Actually, it may be easier to, uh, you're over my base right here. Okay. 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 So the center of this dice <laughs> is, I think I'm sure. Yep. Okay, so the thing is not going to die this turn. It's probably gonna get hurt. I oh. Can I afford to ignore it? One of the things that was uh, pre-game, because we we're gonna stream this game, we didn't want the infamous um, model placement and deployment issue with such a large model, so we actually skipped out on the Dawn of War deployment, which I think was actually John's strongest advantage versus my list. So, Dawn of War, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and having a short deployment zone is also not a great thing for me, especially because I take a line breaker and deploy square parts. <laughs> so. so just going into that, the mission did. Uh, I was. I am not. I don't. I am here. not. Yeah, I'm not favored to win this game. Um, but that doesn't mean that I haven't won games that I'm supposed to lose. You're not wrong. Before I've I won a lot don't of games. Think I actually don't think I have either. <laughs> You were nice to me the first time we met, though. I'm not going to lie. That's true. But I also didn't know what you had and, like, how smart you were. I was like, okay, well, like, I don't want to have a new. bad... He's new. I don't want to have a bad time, you know? Like... He's new. And then I come in. And then, and then you, like, came swinging. And I was like, okay, okay, okay. We can we can oh. take the gloves off a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> you can... Yeah, I, that was a strong... That was a strong 1,500-point list. It's, like, veterans with plasma and I was all like, these... you have so much plasma. And all these re-rolls. You're like, wow, this dude thought about it. I had 30-inch 30 30 inch range, too. That was a fun list. That was a good time. That was actually also, um, I think, my second game of ninth edition. Yeah, I had played more games than ninth, but that was probably like my fifth game. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> ever. Certainly. So it's kind of like and you taught time, me some things. Like I thought I could move, move, move out of deployment. Yeah, I, I wish I, I was, could do something similar with the Swarm Lord, honestly. Oh, do you know how good guard would be if you could do that? <laughs> Not that much better, but still a little better. It's a huge trick. It is a huge trick. Like literally, it's like, hey, this objective is mine now. Get over it. So for those of you watching, why I'm kind of bouncing around is I'm considering not really shooting that big dumb dragon and instead just killing his way to hold points, which is a gun. You're a bad man. No, you don't like it. But last guns, they're all out of range. Uh, they are, yeah. I'm gonna, I want to say this blocks LOS for that. So I don't really have a way to kill them yet. 
Um, We're going in the psychic phase? No. I have a psychic. He has an astropath. Yeah. Which once denied uh, a crucial um, onslaught from no, my damn acro. We're not in the psychic phase yet because I haven't moved my two tanks. Um, I'm trying to. You have a 20 inch move on this? Uh, yeah. Oh, no, that's if I hover. He moves 44. But you can't charge if you don't hover. Correct. Flat six damage, five attacks. Okay. Why? He's like, what's up? Smack. Does his line of sight work the same way mine does? Of course. Mm -hmm. uh, now he's a dinosaur. If you don't move, he can't see you. That's how they got the T-Rex, right? <laughs> it makes zero sense. But we're not going to talk about Jurassic Park here. Although this would be a good time to talk about Jurassic Park. Yeah, I mean, I could shoot it with the DC. I think it's worth moving this guy up to shoot him. Um, Just because... Can and I don't think he's gonna really hitting this tank this turn. Um, I think what he's gonna do is pop one of my tanks and then charge the other one, which is a really, really bad situation. This was a pretty big mistake on my part. If I had four demolisher or five demolisher guns going into this, I would be much more scared. Uh, the right. fact that like you've not been able to get double shots on two demolishers right now, I'm like, yeah, I mean, you could still roll hot. It's it's possible. No, it's not worth. Honestly, I don't even think it's worth shooting. That's kind of where I'm at right now. I don't think I don't think it's worth shooting. Yep. That's terrifying. Um, I I think I'm going to point this one at your exocrine. Okay. And try to take that off the table. Uh, that one will shoot your dinosaur because he can. Uh, wait a minute. Could I go? Yeah, because I go behind this building. You're just gonna do that stuff. Most of my army is currently minus one to be hit, with the exception of the Hive Guard and this one unit of Gaunts, which, of course, shooting through woods could still trigger a minus one, but... So I'm going to do something a little different. I'm just going to run from you. Is it a mistake? Probably. Eh. But that's okay. I'll slide you. I'll move. Ooh, I'm going to go ahead and get my foam tray, so when I start picking up Gaunts, I can just pack them away. <laughs> right. Okay. So I'm going to do the coward move and just hide from you. Listen, man, in the 41st millennium, that's probably the strategic <laughs> sound move in most situations. If you're in the 41st millennium, <laughs> uh, don't be a guardsman. That's that was your first mistake. First, that was, yeah, you were born wrong. I'll slide this guy here. Um, I think that's his plan. I Yeah, I think that's really my only option. I'm glad um, it has a minus one right now because the venom ropes. Yeah, he does have a minus one. They are very rough because I really have no way to get around that. And for those that are not aware, both the Exocrine and the Herodin have Dermic Symbiosis for the five up Envy and double wounds for degradation. So Psychic Phase, I'll give them the plus one of their save. Oh, oh. It goes off. On an 11. Even if I wasn't range, chances are I was not denying that. You might be. He's right here. But nah. yeah. Okay. All right. Shooting phase <gasps> orders. So I'm going to spend a CP. Don't do it. So my platoon commander can give two orders. You're going to nine. Going to nine. My mortar team is going to reroll hit rolls of one. And I'm going to. What is your mortar team? Right here. So he's right here. And then my guardsman squad is going to move, move, move. Just onto that objective. Six. <laughs> Not when I needed the roll of six, but I'll take it. So I'm just going to run these dudes out here. I don't want to do this. Do any of us want to do anything? But I do want to make him have to shoot it. Actually, hold on a second. Is that worth it? You can just charge me. What's your base movement? Six? When, oh, wait. Sorry. What are we talking about? Gaunts? Yeah. Yeah. Those Gaunts will probably still be there. Maybe. They will be. Um, maybe those are the ones I shoot with the mortar team. I'll, I'll st I'm still going to do it. I'm going to make them deal with them. Because I can always 
for small arms fire, I can just slap take cover onto them. And, then and once again, all my units are 20 man, so I'm pretty badly affected by blast. Yeah, this is true. It's not going to matter this that much um, this turn because my demolisher tanks aren't doing anything. And and to be honest, the play to just move um, the tank could be wrong. Um, the green tank, since I made that measurement mistake, off by half an inch or whatever, wasn't that? Wasn't no. that? I mean, that's pretty like hard to. I mean, at least it's not like Infinity or old school 40k where it's like you can't pre-measure. <laughs> it's like you're not really good at guessing. Do you know how sad that would be? I mean, I, to be honest, though, pre-measuring that would have been still is still kind of tough. Yeah, no, absolutely. Like I, I misjudged a little bit the impact of this. If this giant cylindrical thing wasn't there, I'd probably be able to make it. But it was close either way. Um, it was. Uh, so that covers their orders. The tank commanders. I think I do. I really like the Scion models, honestly. Thank you. Some of those um, are, well, they're using different gun bits, but I think for all of the tank commanders, I do the order where they can pop, smoke, and shoot. Someone did a, uh, a 3D print, like similar to the Space Marine that we had out here a second ago, of uh, a Scion in full gear, and it looked super cool. Yeah, maybe Yarrick is good in this list, because if I had Yarrick in that corner, it would just be such a... Just Where just will the gun? So still begin. doing orders. So oh. I, I think I'm doing. Yeah, I'm still kind of considering. I don't think I need to pop smoke in all the demolisher tanks. Definitely gonna pop smoke in this one. So pop smoke and shoot is the order. So he's not rolling ones, which is sad, but he's not killing the exocrine anyway. So he is minus one to be hit. Yeah. Uh, the this pretty demolisher tank. Oh, yeah. This pretty demolisher tank is also gonna do the same thing. Okay. Um, and I'm just going to hope you can't hit the green one. I think you're going to be able to. I'm going to have the green one do the same thing, too. They're all going to fire and shoot. Everyone is shot. popping smoke. And shooting. That's the order. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so now we bump into the shooting phase. Um, so I will spend another command point and give my mortar team plus one to hit, plus one to wound. So hitting out threes. So now you're ones. down to seven? Eight. No down to eight. So we have the same amount of CP. How does it feel? Eh, you know. I'm going to shoot this squad here. So the non-minus one squad. Yeah, of course. So I'm, I get max shots, right? Yes. Yeah. Mortar Three, team is firing six. at the only unit of gaunts that does not currently benefit from a minus one. Three. Yep, yep. The ones uh, lining the hive guard. Three, six, six, three, four. Okay, hitting on threes, you're rolling ones. You leave them gaunt alone. Let's roll. No ones. Don't get to re-roll them ones. Don't get to re-roll them ones. And, and strength four? Yeah. The threes. Two. Oh, two two is because of the plus one. one. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah. I like that strategy. That's a good one for extra mortars. Very good. Well, that's all. <laughs> cool. And it Three, has an AP, correct? No AP. Okay, so I get the saves. but You do get the saves. So you're looking at um, 14 wounds. Nine, 10. 14 wounds. 12. So 14 saves. Rolling them. The oh, no. Yay. Ooh, I saved one. All so right. 13 will die. But it is a 20-man squad. So, so still they're still kicking. Still have some bros left. Uh, I'm going to pick them off this back corner. Sure. So four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. One thing that this list is a little bit suffering from is that I don't have a lot of synapse. It's only two broodlords. Um, but, I mean, I, I feel like in most cases... People feel like they have bigger fish to fry than the uh, Broodlords. Sure, they don't. So I'm going to fire these Guardsmen into that squad. Okay. Uh, six of them are not minus one to hit, but three of them are. 
Oh, okay. Because of that forest. So I'll do the six first. Ah. And of course the sergeant can't do it. It's bad. Okay, <laughs> one hit. Yeah, these and you ones killed are five. Ten gaunt, so far you have scored one thing in the ranks point. We'll score it at the end. So <laughs> I only had one hit. What's up? I rolled nine dice and it wasn't it wasn't it wasn't good. Oh no. It wasn't good. Uh it was a wound. <gasps> it's pretty bad. Pretty bad. Pretty bad. You got one though. Yeah. Alright. 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 Kerplow. Uno mas. Um, I'm going to do the demolisher tank that moved. Um That's this one? The green one. The move full. Sorry. Okay. Move this full thing. Yeah. So he has the last cannon, which is not going to do anything because I don't, I can't see your dinosaur. Ah, and then he ah, has ah. his six shots. So I guess I pretty much have to put everything into your gaunts, which is kind of shitty. Wait, do I get a save? <laughs> that? Because of... he can get line of sight, but he can't get. Um... Oh no, I'm in range. Yeah. I... Wow. Yeah. You can shoot it. You just can't double shoot him. What a mistake. Yeah. Yeah, because he was... Cause he, no, he can range, but I could have I moved him in a way that wasn't this full. I could have slid him right here, and then he could have done it. But that doesn't make sense, right? Because wouldn't I be in the ruins? Yeah, if you're in the terrain, you can see through it. Wow. Yeah. No, that's good to know. Cause I so so for the audience, uh, because my tank was like around right here, right? I could have put him like right there, and I probably been able to range him. That's okay. It only changes the game. So. <laughs> um, so thirty inch gun. All right. Well, I guess I'll I'll put both things into him. So that's the last cannon and. Demolisher is in range, but I don't get two shots. Uh, so I'll do the demolisher first. Number of shots. I get a reroll on this. I'll take five. And I'll throw the last cannon here, too, with the red dice. Sure. So I'm hitting on fours because you're minus one? Yep. And no rerolls because I popped them up. Okay. Not bad. And winning on threes. P8. Yeah, I'm moving there. So two? Two wounds, yep. Yeah, well, that's what I like to roll. Five ups. I save one. Uh, damage. Three. I'll take it. Yeah. I'm going to borrow your D20s. Go for it. Uh, the second tank commander. Uh, yeah, I saved I, one. Just, yeah. The twos are not great for me to roll. Yeah. Eight. It doesn't matter. Ah, uh, for the last cannon, sure, I guess. I think the only thing in the game I'm aware of is T9 is the great unclean one. Could be wrong. Yeah, he did move. Mo he moved more than his. Um, did he move more than five? He moved more than five, right? I think he had to because it was he like an to. inch from the base. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to be honest. Um, I don't think shooting that guy's. You could, you could super kill some gaunts. Right, which is... <laughs> well, it would be six shots. It would be half a squad. but And they're still at minus one. Yeah, they are still minus one. <laughs> yeah, I mean, maybe it's still, I guess... It would be max six shots. Six would... Four would probably die, maybe five. I mean, it hurts his board control. Which is... Which is relevant yeah i'm gonna fire the other tank commander at your exocrine at the exocrine okay uh the orange one yeah and i'll put the heavy bolter into your um your little squad there this guy yeah okay oh your exocrine's minus one hit isn't it yep all right i'm not gonna do that one yet i'm gonna fire one of the mana cores okay mana cores are firing how many what? wounds do your venom throws have uh, they are three each, I want to say. Do they have an inbound save? No. Absolutely not. They do give themselves minus one, of course. Yes. Um, let me verify that they're three wounds each. 
That sounds right. No invuln, right? No invuln. What's her toughness? Four. What's her armor? Uh, five. <laughs> I'm gonna it's fire. Squishy. I'm gonna fire a mana core at them. P four, five up save. Uh, three wounds. Uh, I'll take ten shots. Three, six. Probably five. an extremely dead unit of venom throats. Maybe venom fives. Your mass one. Huh. Okay. That was a high roll. You got at least four hits. As long as you wound, um, they're dead though, because I don't get a save. Six wounds, six hits. That was, that was a hot roll, yeah. Uh, that's five wounds. Five wounds? AP2. That is the squad. Oh, yeah, no, that's the squad. Sure. Yep. Curse flat. All right, there goes your minus one to hit. <laughs> at least I killed something. Um. Yeah, I'm going back to the tank commander. Uh, he's your flyer still minus one hit, right? Correct, because he is airborne. That's fair. Actually, the strategy is I can get a minus two back. I'm gonna fire the second mana core at your hive guard. Yeah, that makes sense. So these are, so these are these are min three because yep. you have a six man. I roll the one because I can. Aren't you not catachins? I took both traits. Oh, right. Two, four. Otherwise, I'd be Vostrian, which is what I kind of started to say, then got distracted. Because um, Vostrian does have that really good strat for one CP plus one to hit, which would be super strong right now, but I just can't afford That's the hit to not re roll the number of shots. Yep. And I'm T5, so you're not wounding on twos, or oh, you're yes, strength I 10. Am. You're strength 10. Yep. Oh, I, I live the dream with these boys. <laughs> I'll CP re roll the one. Okay. So that's five wounds. Five, I'm in cover, so any sixes I roll. Well, you're minus three, right? Minus two, yeah. Minus two, so five ups. Yep. Uh, yeah, wow, okay, yeah. But it was five, you said? Yes, sir. I save one, so four will die. Yeah. Man, of course, are real. They are real. They're Curse trying. Blast. Well, if I can't kill the big thing, right? All right, uh, tank. Uh, I'll fire this tank commander next. Um, oh, God, he has 30 wounds left. 31. Yay. Does he heal? He can for 2 CP. Yep. Uh, well, that's... Yeah. Old or new Eldar? Yes. I think I do shoot the Exocrine. So I'm going to fire the Demolisher Cannon into the Exocrine okay. and then the Heavy Bolter into those guys. Then. Okay. Heavy Bolter first because I'm holding two dice. Uh, two hits. E3. And two wounds. AP1. So. <laughs> yeah, just because strength five into an Exocrine doesn't make much sense. Um, all right. Yeah. Um, I'll, does that thing have an Imbalance save? Five up. Doubles wounds for degradation. I'll keep I'll keep the three. Five. E eight. Yeah, three is two. Mm -hmm. So five, five lives? Yep. Five NVs. Uh, shooting through light cover, I don't get the benefit of cover because I'm not in it. Yeah, also, I'm a big guy. Ooh, I'm going to fail. Mm, That's average. Maybe I'll spend a CP. 46 damage. Oh, sure. <laughs> Assuming you pass. So average 10? I mean, I'll still be alive in that situation. 10 and a half. Yep. I did. I did already spend my CP for the for the round for the phase. Yeah. You're gonna do it. All right. Doesn't save. Roll it. Is that four I went through? So hold on. Do I get his CP? Because my Aquila. Do not. And then my damage was four that went through. Yes. Uh, nine. Yep. He's dead. Do I explode? I don't. Okay. Uh, that hurt. Um, and then the last demolisher tank, right? Because I fired the other one. 
I didn't do anything. Um, the last demolisher tank, I think, will shoot. Killing Gaunts is just so appealing. But they're minus one to hit. So if they're minus one to hit, I think it's just worth. You don't have any big things left. I can't target your broodlords, right? Correct. Okay. Um, are your hive guard in uh, synapse range? Yeah. Damn. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'll I'll target the dragon. Okay. So that'll be Laz cannon and the regular demolisher cannon. Not ideal. Um, but we'll see. Ooh, luckily I get a reroll. Sure. The red one will be the last cannon. I roll a one into a one. Yep. It's not a good feeling. Okay. Freeze. Okay. Don't save it. Sure. Now I'm down to 30. <laughs> that was embarrassing. Uh, he did one damage tank. to the Herodon. Demolisher, Demolisher tank? Yeah. Yeah, it was, uh, that was, that was. I, I rolled, with the exception of that tank, I rolled hot this round. Yep. Manicores did their job. They are the bane of my existence. That 72 inch range means you just cannot hide from them. They're out of range. I think that's probably my turn. Cool. Two last cannons. They advanced. Yeah. Cool. Um, I can't charge you. Do you have any? Do, I, do you owe me any leadership? Nope. Everything's in fearless and or dead. <gasps> all right, all right, all right, all right. Start of Tyranid turn. Hmm. I forgot to deploy scrambles. <laughs> the platoon commander didn't do anything but orders. Yeah, he can scramble. Sure. Scramble, scrambles. Yup, yup. Yeah, the nice thing is with the hive guard in their current state, um, I'm probably not going to spend CP to double shoot them. I mean, I, I might. Wow. But... Hashtag you know, small advantages. I mean, <laughs> silver lining. Silver lining. I like that better. All right. So I can move 44. Mm, I made a small mistake. So because I can see through my own ruins and I can see that dumb dragon, I could have fired both heavy bolters into it, which wouldn't have mattered, but would make True. me feel good about myself. I say go ahead and roll it. Really? Yeah, go for it. All right. Okay. Cool. Wow. Four is to hit. Fives. Oh, fives, yeah. No. Uh, nothing. See? Now I feel better. Cool. <laughs> All right. And I deserve nothing because I forgot. That's the rule. If you forget your rules, they're in synapse range, huh? Yep. I know the answer. I'm just not happy with it. Because right <laughs> I here. I know. <laughs> I can see him. <laughs> He's like right next to him. That counts, right? That, that, that counts. That totally counts. Yes, John. That's the rules. Yeah, just making sure. Making sure. They're going to scramble on my deployment zone. Yeah, why not? Why not? Who is? Uh, the gauntlet that just moved up on this objective. They're not in your deployment zone. Oh, uh, you're right. You're right. They're not. They're, they won't do it, but they're moving there. They're chilling. They own it, man. It's theirs. What's nice is now I'll be able... Where's your astropath? Okay, cool. 24. Because I just don't want you to even get a chance to roll denies. Give it to me. Do it. There's no reason. Do it. Love me. They moved. <laughs> this unit is going to advance. So we get to advance 1d6. Yeah. They're going 1. Oh, seven. yes. Not 3. What is it? 3d6? No, other? it's 3d6 with Kraken. Yeah, that's so uh, good. Picking the highest. Oh, well, I guess I... technically you could pick the lowest if you want, but why would you ever do that? Is the question. These questions are for nerds. <laughs> Coming on up here. We've got lots of people here. So what I need to do, let's see, hold on. Is there 20 there? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Watch your uh, coherency there, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> so that man is the bane of my existence. Everyone needs a nemesis. <laughs> even a guy is nice. I just, nice I just don't have pleasant games. 
Well, there. <laughs> that's okay. All right. Let's. Um, I don't have domination. Didn't pick I have line breaker. Yo, yo. I mean, I'll take it. <laughs> so if I move out of. Do you move from the base or from his head? It doesn't matter. From the base. I mean, technically, it doesn't matter, but like, right. I would measure. Um, I'm actually currently airborne because I have to change in the command phase technically. Well, you can do it. Yeah, I just I'm I'm just looking at my options here. I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna take my full move because my goal is gonna be to get back here and blow up both those tanks. They're all minus one to hit. All of them. They are uh. They're good for that. So 44 is yeah I can get there. Are you a little salty? I killed all your support units. <laughs> I really thought the Exocrine was going to live, and if that was the case, I was thinking the Hive Guard plus Exocrine could take out this tank easily enough. Um, Interesting you would have shot the tank. See, my the reason why I shot at the Exocrine was because I didn't want you picking up my squads of infantry. Fair. As the game went on. That was my fear with that. So I'm going to pivot my up to 90. The dragon is going to fly. He's here. Thanks. Uh, let's move minimum. Outside of an inch. Got to be outside of an inch of my, my tank commander. I think I'm good there. I'll actually have to move there to get off the power I want on him, but that's okay. All right. What's, what's the power you're going to go for? Uh, I feel that pain. That's a good power. I'm going to roll in advance for the Broodlord. I'm going to make sure you're outside of an inch of my... You are. Ah, uh, you are not. I'm going to slide you up a bit. Sure. Ready? Watch this. Ready? Ready? Oh my goodness. Hey, it matters to John. How many attacks does that dumb thing get? In close combat? Yeah. Five. Oh, but you can fall back. So yes. You no point charging with guardsmen. So I don't want to put myself at risk here, but. Do it. I don't be a wuss. To... What's his movement? Um, now it's 12 because of my advance roll. Oh, yep. There you go. Oh, actually, well, that's kind of good because. You can hide. Yeah. That's good. He's a big boy, right? He slaps, 18. right? Yeah, he's good in combat. That's not going to have uh, range. 18. Oh, he's not going to have range. No. Yes. I don't, think you, I don't think you need to feel no pain. I might actually be 24, but I'm going to double check that. I think it's 18. I'm pretty confident it's 18. What was the name of the ability? Catalyst. I think it is 18. Yeah, it is 18. Um, From what I, what little I know about Tyranid. How much building. distance do I actually need to get that? Because I could always see P roll at advance. So if I had been smarter, um, I probably could have put another. But as we saw with that one tank commander who just whiffed. I need another two here. Killing his dragon just wasn't going to happen. So like, if I see if you roll that advanced, I would need to roll a five or better to get back in catalyst range. Sorry? If you advance, you can't cast. Yes. Oh, you're right. I can't. Mm -hmm. You're right. They changed that. Mm -hmm. Wow. That's terrible. I mean... You're the one who flew <laughs> 40 inches. It's yeah. kind of hard for me to feel bad for you. The feel no pain is not going to matter. There's You have 30 wounds on that thing. It makes a big difference when you have that many wounds, though. You're, I'm picking up two. I mean, two shrugging off tanks. a third of your wounds, that's super significant. Yeah, but I'm not going to be shooting it. I can't kill it. That's where I'm yeah. trying to go with this. I can't kill it. Yeah. Uh, Less Broodlord's going to um, advance as well. Like, I think putting the Laz Cannon shot into it was right. He's getting five. No, I, I think shooting the Dem Tank into it, even with only six shots, was still correct. So just, for to, him. just to maybe kill. Because it would only kill maybe four Gaunts, five Gaunts. You can go up to 14. That gets him, like, here. I really don't... I can't afford for him to die, though. So, he's going to be here. These gaunts are going to be the ones that do scrambler to my deployment. Mm -hmm. They're six. They're moving up. God bless you. All right. They're swinging around. What a brutal game. I'm just, I'm, I'm mathing everything out in my head. It's just like, what a brutal game. 
Oh no, this is um the exocrine going down the way he did was not good for me. Um, but <laughs> I don't feel bad because you're gonna kill all three of my demolish. You're gonna kill two of my demolish. Two, and then you'll still have almost all of your firepower. Well, not all. No. <laughs> I mean, those mana cores do work, they, man. They slap. They're good against. The, the thing is that like, yes, they hit hard, but like they also have the volume of fire to just pick up infantry. Yes, they do. And, that's, and, and that's, that is what makes them. And that's probably what they're gonna be doing. Exactly. Right. Is just I'm just gonna start pummeling his infantry. Exactly. Um, so yes, he'll probably. I have won many games where I've been table. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. I'm going to. Also, now Thimbia Storm is fundamentally pointless without having anything that's a shooting unit nearby. I still. I did roll hot with the mana cores. Um, uh, he's still, still just processing base. some movement. Let me see something real quick. But he's, almost, he's almost done moving. Yeah. <laughs> hey, it's popular, man. That's good. I moved those gaunts to do scramblers. You did. And I they, currently have engage. Yep. You do have engage. You have engaged them. I'm going to charge there and probably wipe that unit. How, oh, many, maybe. Attacks, how many attacks do you get? Six attacks. You can't wipe the unit. Oh, with morale, maybe. I can auto pass. Yeah. I will auto pass to keep the point. You can also fight again. Oh, that, that, then, yeah. And I don't have uh, Hive Guard to spend CP on right now, so. Doesn't that feel good? It's, you know, little things. <laughs> um, all right, so let's go into the If you went first, this would be a very different game. Let's go into the Psychic phase. That's over because I advanced both my Psychers. Uh, let's go into the Shooting phase. You advance both Psychers? Can they advance yeah. and charge? Yeah. Yeah, Broodlord's counter. Are they infantry? Yeah. <laughs> Trying to find a way out. There isn't. Um, all right. Um, Get out of my Hive head. Guard. 36. Uh, I can see some stuff, but not a lot. You can hit stuff. my tanks. Yeah. I mean, that's a good ace in the hole for if I don't finish off a demolisher tank for some reason. Yeah. I'm trying to think to myself. I mean, I feel like spending the CP to up damage in case something goes wrong is important. Because if, if right now I don't wipe two tanks, this is already over. Um, that is true. One, two, three, four, five, six, so, seven, okay, hold on. eight. What are we doing right now? Are you in a shooting phase? Um, yeah, I'm in the shooting phase. Okay. And you are now shooting this guy? It's what I'm looking at right now. Okay. Um, it's really the only thing I have to shoot. Um, and the hive guard, I guess. Spending two CP. What is that? That is a massive case. That is a bookshelf. That dude's wearing a bookshelf. <laughs> As a backpack. The spending two. This club is great. <laughs> I'm going to do eight shots here, eight shots here. And I spent two CP to make them plus one damage. So they're flat four. The hair. Please minus one to hit. Yes. Um, he's going to do eight here and eight here. So he's hitting on fours. Yeah. Which one are you doing first? Um, The white one, I guess. <gasps> That is half hit. All which right. Which is math. Um, oh, call this already, but technically it is what I wanted to do. Um, sure. I wanted to take D3 mortals to give myself plus one to wound. Sure. Is that a strat? Nope. That is one of his abilities. You did do one strat on him, correct? Ah, uh, yes. Okay. D3 is two. So I'm actually down to 28 wounds. Sure. And what is this for again? Um, it gives me plus one to wound. Well, what strat do you choose from? Pathogenic slime. Two CP, so I'm down to six. And I did not get it. Yeah, I'm um, at seven. So wounding on twos here, Wound and I will spend. What's your, what's your strength? Uh, strength ten. Oh, yep. So I'll spend. If I roll a single one here, I'll spend a CP to re-roll it. But ah, <laughs> yes. Damn it. All right, so that's uh four saves. I'm down to five now because I did a. Do I get? One. Do I get the command point? No. Um, negative three. Yep. Saves one. Doesn't matter. It's three four. or four each. Yeah, so he's dead. Close. Yeah. The white. The white. One. Yeah. The yeah. White one. yeah. That never happens. It does. Yep. Okay. So we will start with the Bullgren because that's what matters most to John. They take two. 
Okay. Okay. Um, let me snag my red dice. Okay. Yay, they exploded. Oh, he's at one left. Whoops. Which is unfortunate. I mean, the other tank commander was dead anyway. Does it hit the character? I don't know. The other tank commander takes two, so he's down to ten. I think he does. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, he's he's alive. Uh, the infantry squad, the Katachen looking one, loses two. And then the other one loses one. When I was at the GT, I had four vehicles explode on my turn one. That only hurt me. Oh, man. You know what would be gross? If the Harridan dies and does a bunch of mortals to everything. <laughs> Stop it. Uh, who's left? The mana cores. Uh, so orange mana core takes three. The other one takes one. Okay. Down to eight. Down to ten. Thank you, Tank Commander. You did more damage to me than my opponent. Yay! Isn't that the one that only did one damage? Yeah, that is the one that only did one damage. I wish I was being All right. serious. All right. So Next. firing at the other Tank Commander. Demolish your cannon. Um, wow. I rolled pretty... Yeah, it's above average for... Yeah, I... yeah kind of. And now twos. Three. Gotta save one. No, I'm fucked anyway. Oh, oh, I guess I'm not. Cause, well, no, yeah. I, I'm not. It doesn't matter. All right. So I need sixes. Give Luckily, this to me. Luckily, the hive guard's in range. Oh, <laughs> I no. Four. Oh, that is it's disgusting. It's a game. All right. It just blew up. I don't want to hear it. But yes. What do you mean you won't want to hear it? That is the luckiest nonsense. The hive guard okay. in range. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to concede that that was the luckiest nonsense. Jesus Christ. You just butchered my hive guard and my exocrine. Oh, the hive guard in range, at least. They are, yeah. They're firing there. Minus one to hit. Minus one anyway. Not shooting at the closest target, and they are out of synapse. <gasps> Four is re-rolling ones. That was good. Okay. You might be dead. Uh, T8 on your tank. Yeah. Fours. Fours. Just one. Ignores benefit of cover, but minus two. Good. Oh, my God. <laughs> Stop rolling sixes. <laughs> Oh, wow. I got lucky this game. Yeah, that's an understatement. Jesus Christ. I went first. I rolled two sixes when I need exactly when I needed to. <laughs> Firing at him again with the hive guard. I spent two CP for it. Oh, hold on. Do I get it? No. One hit. Uh... One hit. Can't kill him. No. Doesn't load. T8. That's tilting. That was a... Uh... This uh, that was real bad. That was real, real bad. I think this is kind of on the list of just bad dice rolls. <laughs> That's um, games. To be honest, you're still very much in this game. Oh, no, you didn't get a feel-no-pain on him, did you? No. So it does matter? It matters significantly. Because you can't charge, right? Correct. Yeah. It matters. It, it, it big matters, sir. <laughs> um, wow. Okay, uh, Broodlord is charging your dudes on the center objective. I mean, how do you adjust, right? realistically uh we can hope that your luck goes south and mine goes north that's an 11 there. Keeper has it. i mean like you you scored three points for killing a demolisher tank yeah right if he dies on your turn though the game all of my killing power is gone like 100 percent all of it yeah you're right and i'm going to try to kill it uh, no i'm in charge done. Harrodin's done, failed to blow it up. Double fired Hive Guard failed to finish off the tank because he rolled two sixes on his saves. He did nothing to it. I don't even think he's bracketed. Uh, charged here. Hitting on twos. Rerolls? No, no rerolls to hit, but four rerolls to wound. You rolled some ones there too in the previous one. Like yeah. Rose, yeah, that was lucky. I got lucky twice in a row. Twos with a reroll. That's six at minus three, all dealing multi damage. They tried their hardest. So they can swing back. Yeah. Guardsman combat. 
They're not even strength four anymore. <laughs> wah, wah. Three, three. P5? One wound, no AP. Uh, I'm fine. Yeah. I want to spend CP to fight again, but I actually, because you I double do. fired the Hive Guard, um, I want to save a CP for a save reroll on the Heritage. I'm, I'm going to score five points on you. Yeah. Nope. There's nothing I can do about it. You, if you fight again, you'll wipe them. Yeah, but then I don't have something to reroll a save with the Heritage. If the Heritage dies, you're, you're out. I have okay. three left. Fight again, cost three. That is tough. I'll, I'll take you scoring five points to stay in the game, because if I don't stay in the game, then it's over anyway, so. Um, so what was supposed to happen, audience, is that tank was supposed to die, and then the Hive Guard were going to uh, start plinking away other things. But, unfortunately... They hive Guard probably there. wouldn't have... You wouldn't have killed all the Bulgren. Without no, no, I wasn't going to shoot the Bulgren. <laughs> but um, they, he might have been out of... No, he's still within three, I think. They would have been a good target for the Hive yeah. Guard. Well, they were out of range of that. Oh. But that's still how the cookie crumbles. I actually should have probably shot the Hive Guard there. Um... But I was trying to fish for that no. second kill. You, you had to hit, you had to hit the tank. Um, so that is going to be the end of my turn. So you're going to score the full 15. Mm -hmm. And um, let's see. Did you score? I got a I got engage. You did get engaged. For two. I got the first part of Scramblers. Yep. I got an Assassinate. You got an Assassinate. Uh, you didn't get Line Breaker as of right now. You got. Well, I will. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, he's I going am, to get yeah. 15. <clears throat> he's going to be up to eight. Yeah, I can get in there. Oh, no, that's not line breaker. Nope. Deployment zone ends here. Yes. So I will not be able to get line breaker this turn. But I'm still going to ruin your life. I can still deploy scramblers, so though. You don't have to. Do you have to deploy scrambler? You can't deploy. It has to be in the deployment zone for deploy scramblers, yeah. right? The, la the third action. Okay. How far is the deployment zone? It in? goes it, to the center 10? of the objective. Okay, interesting. I was what I was going to try to do is do the middle one mm -hmm. here, but you, I don't think you can because you have to be outside of six. Yeah. Not possible. Okay. I owe you a leadership test. Oh, I guess that's true. Um, you can auto pass, or uh, I don't think I want to auto pass because I don't think I'm gonna lose all of them. So they lost six. Yep. So I need a one and you got eight. A two. That's still a fail. So one dies, three models. And they all oh my God. die. So you don't get fifteen points. Dom, only I only 10. got ten because I got greedy and rolled three ones. See, luck. I hope you uh, apply there. Like that, that's. I, I'm happy that happened, but I would to rather have honest, it on my save. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm not upset that it happened because <laughs> this game has been kind of BS. So like, yes, I did need to roll one three, <laughs> <or higher. laughs> but <clears throat> the fact that my friend still gets to actually enjoy the game um, is not worth important. it. Not worth it. Pretty important to John. Uh, so. I only scored 10 because I failed my morale and lost all four of them. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't think I didn't yeah. think I'd roll three twos, but I did. Um, did well, happen. sometimes the emperor giveth, the emperor taketh away. <laughs> You're not wrong. <clears throat> all right. Um, but I am going to deny you primaries. Yeah, 100%. I don't think I'm getting even five points this turn well i don't know how good he is in close combat he's saucy in combat but he doesn't survive super well I mean, he's got a five of envy it's better than some and for two cp i can fight on death okay so i'm gonna do gang uh, listening to the listening to the whatever is i'm going to actually keep both of my infantry squads on this point because <clears throat> i don't want him to wipe me off with some dumb some, some bs but I am going to put these guys up front. So I'm hoping, hoping that I might get lucky with enough fives to shoot his gaunts, gaunts off the objective without having to dedicate anything I care about into them. 
Um, now, wait, is this true line of sight? So this is actual window? Mm hmm. Oh. Uh, right. No, I'm in it. So I could have shot last turn. Probably not, but whatever. I don't, I'm not complaining. I'm just muttering. <laughs> So I'm going to assume. So what I'm for the audience, what I'm doing here for the audience is I'm putting two squads on this objective, so we can't take me off of it. <clears throat> I'm going to try to put both Bulgren squads into that to wipe them out. Should happen. I don't know if I need all of them. To Could do maybe it. do it with one, honestly, but I'm not positive. Right. Uh, mm. I mean, what move, does happen? <laughs> I'm gonna move this guy here. Okay. I'm going to move these Bulgren. They're six inches. Well, this is, this is a bit of a long shot, this charge. I'm holding it. Sarah dropped our other measuring tape. It's a small, light one. And it shattered. Wow. They usually don't... Shit. I mean, uh, they usually will, like, stop working so good, but they don't nope. usually shatter. They just... Tried to fix it. Honest to God, tried to fix it. This charge is longer than I pre-measured it. Well, oh well. And there, because he does fit. There we go. And then the tank commander is gonna go like this. That is an inch. And then his four inches up is like this. Three inches yeah. up. Okay. You still have reserves. I do. My reserves are scarier. They are. Yeah. Um, I like how I painted my bulb right now. No, they came out good, man. I think, I think they, they've come out pretty good. I like the stoplight, or the, not stoplight, but the red light hazard thing, you know? So definitely a massive improvement to when they were just gray plastic. You got to take what you can get, right? All right. So I'm going to move you guys up your four inches. I owe you leadership on these two squads. What did I do? Oh, morale. Or sorry, mortals. Remember when you blew up my tank? Yep. I'm going to move them all first just because I'm in the middle of doing that. And then I'll just pluck them off when they're dead. Unless you have a problem with that. I don't have a problem with that. Okay. I mean, you're going to be on the objective comfortably regardless. Not, yeah, right. Two, three, eight. Okay, so they lost two. They're good. You're fine. And then the other one, I think only lost one. Yeah. Don't roll six. No, actually, I can't. I can't fail. The other ship seven. Is my tank bracketed? I don't think so. I mean, I you only lost four, either. right? Uh, I lost six. Lost six. I'm gonna double check. I, I might, I, if, if it is, I'll spend a CP on Relentless. Let me look. Yeah, it is. So I'm gonna spend a CP on Relentless. So I go to down six. a CP, down to uh, seven? Seven, yeah, I actually got one for the turn. Okay, now to hide my astro. <laughs> Go there. And you. Yeah, yeah. Oh, really? Why? Gotcha. Can I run through these? Oh, okay. I was so excited the last tournament after playing table eight for like three games in a row when I saw the terrain from that table on the stream table. I was like, yes. I'm not there. <laughs> I think that's my movement. Uh, psychic. Plus one to save on my hmm, program. The what one... is, where is this psych rat? Oh, he's, you, you can deny him. My only so. consideration too is because I have the Chronos strategy and can make you cast it on one dice. Go for it. I need a six. 
plus one of their save is pretty relevant. Oh, you don't, oh, you don't have, want to CP also, for it, though. I do have CP for it. I have three CP. Oh, you have three right now. Yeah, I just didn't have CP good. to fight again. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. yeah, go ahead and roll it. I'll just roll the deny at it. And you're also minus one to the cast because you're within 18 of the Broodlord. Good to know. So I, I still cast on a six. I got to beat a six. That is not going to beat a six. Hmm. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna deny it. Yeah, I. Uh, I thought I was going to very comfortably do that. <laughs> yeah. Oh shit. Oh shit. I do think Lehman Ressa should get two up saves. Quick. If they're not gonna give me five up invulns on tank commanders, which sounds ridiculous, but my regular company commander guys get five up invulns. So it's like, why not spread the love? The ninth edition, baby. Everything's possible. All right, so shooting f our orders, I guess. Uh, both tank commanders, obviously, we're rolling hit rolls of one. Um, and I'll give these guys re rolling hit rolls of one, too. For okay. my platoon value. Uh, so shooting phase. No other orders? I only have. Oh, right. <laughs> Rubbing it in. No. <laughs> to be fair, though, the tank commander you killed did more damage to me than you. He so did. He hurt. He did, literally. He's the one that did one damage to the Herodon. Yeah. Yeah, that was pretty embarrassing. Okay. So I'm going to start with the Guardsman, because that's what they do. Uh, the Guardsman in this corner over here. They're, they're, this first squad is going to unload their shots into these Guess guys what? Here. You're minus one. Three, six, nine. Damn, she's fine. Okay. That's above average. Four hits. T3. And that is one <laughs> Yay. Nope. Not saved. Okay. She dies. And then... I'll put the closest shocker. one in case it matters. It shouldn't. Actually, it would have. Uh, then the second squad, same thing. Three, six, nine. Two hits? Three hits? Three hits, yeah. T three. And one wound. All right, buddy. All right, buddy. No. Yeah. One more dies. Okay. I'm not in synapse, but I'm still in the objective, which is still worth something. Yeah, it is. Ah, they might. I doubt it, but you know, hey. Well, maybe if you worship the right emperor. <laughs> All right. <laughs> That's true love. All right, so I'm gonna shoot. So I'm going to shoot the 10 man into your gaunts. Hmm. Actually, you only have check. one squad on this? Um, yes. One 20 man squad. Yes. All right. One CP for the mortars. Hmm? Plus one hit, plus one wound. I'm going to unload on that squad of gaunts. So it's going to be 18 shots because you love to give me blast. Oh, that's your book, not my book. He didn't have to take all the guns. But I wanted to. I don't blame you. So, as I said, plus one hit, plus one wounds. Hitting on threes, you're rolling ones. Quite a few ones. Two more over there. Jeez. And there's a single two. Pretty good conversion. I think it was about average. Hitting on threes. Be gross. Mm. Wounding on threes? Rerolling one. Twos. Two. Oh, right, because the strategy. You, you, you did use the strategy. Mm -hmm. And no rerolls. Wounding on twos with, re with no rerolls. The three, six, nine. Oh, I forgot to deploy my reserves. Yay, I'm super good. If you want to deploy those, I'm mm. not going to fault you for it. I feel like that would be cheating. Because I'm already halfway through my shooting phase, so I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna punish myself and say no, I can't, I don't get to do it. Save two. Yep. So that was three, six, nine, ten, yeah. and we'll die half the squad. Four. All right. Eight, ten. Tank commander. Uh, that one. Uh, he is full profile because of Relentless. He's going to fire his last cannon, everything into the dragon. 
You leave Harriet alone. So 2d6 number of shots. Um, I can reroll one. I can reroll both for a command point. I don't think entering experts lets me reroll both. Well, you can. You can shoot a weapon, you can shoot twice, right? Yeah, I'm shooting twice. Let me look. Let me double check. It's not once per phase. When you roll, do you determine the type characteristic of any any weapon, a vehicle model with this doctrine's equipment? You can reroll one of the dice. Yeah, you're, you're just resolving it all at once. Well, that's a lot better than I thought it was. Yeah. All right, well, that's better. So two, four, six, eight. Three, six, seven, eight. And I'm going to throw this red one in as the uh, lab Last cannon. Because it's strength nine, which is functionally kind of the same thing. Being on threes, you're rolling once. Uh, four is because I'm minus one. Four is because you're minus one to hit. So you're rolling once. Wow, that was not great. A lot of threes. Okay, that helps. Four hits. Four hits. Now you need threes to wound because your strength nine or higher. Yep. Um, I think I'll save that. So I'll, I'll stick with three wounds. All right. I save. Well, they're all D6, so I might as well use my CP here. Sure. D6 do I, damage. Do I get the D? Do I? Okay. So I get. I, no, no, no. That I, I got the CP oh, back. Okay. Yep. Not quite. Six. All right. Take the full. Set. Drops me down to 22. Yeah, I'm not still not probably gonna kill it. Um. All right. Second demolisher tank. Um. I'll put the heavy bolter. I'll shoot at that. Uh, the orange tank. Find the building. So I can draw. Oh, it would be minus one, actually, to hit them, I think, because I'm cutting through the forest. Yeah. What's the toughness on your... D5. Mm. Yeah, I think you're right. I'm still going to fi fire at them. Uh, and then a cannon, obviously, at that. Yeah, yeah. So heavy bolter first. So hitting on fours, we're rolling ones. Uh, one hit and one wound. So he's dead. It's AP1. One of your guns is dead. Oh, sorry. And then 2d6 shots into your dumb thing. Reroll the two into a two, three, eight. Hitting on fours, rerolling ones. Leaner. Rerolling ones. Yep. Nice. Ugh. Uh, yep. And wounding on threes. That's hot. Five wounds. We'll see. Save two. Wait, I saved. Oh, yeah, three of them. Yep. Yep. And I'm going to CP reroll the one. Okay. Into a six. Sixteen. Um, no, he's down to like 10. Eight. eight. Yeah, he's fine. Sure. I'm at six command points. Okay. Uh, Manicore. <laughs> uh, I have two. Uh, so I can see you, right? Because I have line of sight. Not that you need it, but yeah. I do, because I'm going to spend a CP to give him plus one to hit. Fair. So he's sitting on fours. Yep. So I'm at five command points. Okay. So, and I'll put the heavy bolter in him too because I have nothing else to shoot. Cool. So we'll fire the main gun first. So that is. Double I rolled, one? I rolled snake eyes. I get to reroll one of them, not two because it's the same gun. It's 2d6, yeah. Double ones. Hitting on fours. Let's go. One hit. Hitting on three. One wound. Not save. Black uh, three. What's your armor save? Um, my armor save is three. Okay. Yeah, sure. So. Down to five. Okay. Not ideal. Uh, second mana core shooting at him. Oh, the heavy bolter. Sorry. Do it. Heavy bolter hits on fives. Doesn't matter. Okay. Now the second mana core is going to fire at him. 
and I'll reroll the two. Can and you spend two. another CP for gunnery experts? So you're uh, five? You don't spend CP. Oh, yes. I, I am at five. Yes. Um, Not gunnery experts. The, the I shot it with something else. That one. I did something. Now he's hitting on fives. Okay. Three hits. Yeah. And winning on threes. Two wounds. You'll probably make one of these. You should. Save one. Down two. I'm actually bracketed finally. Down to two. That's only shooting. Almost. Grenade. <laughs> From the bulk run. Let me have this. <laughs> okay. 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 No AP. <laughs> yes. It's three, four. Grenade. Yeah. Wounded on six. No, no. His, there's a strength four. Bulgrin's are strength four. Yeah, Bulgrin grenade, man. One they, they get bigger grenades. How many ones does he have left? It's one. That would have been pretty epic. <laughs> I forgot. Guard shooting has been a little better than it should have been. I can still shoot the last guns at it. I didn't fire them yet. Might as well. No one. <laughs> Actions are for the later part of the game. <laughs> when I remember to drop my reserves. If I drop my reserves, that thing would be dead. Because <clears throat> I would have melters into it. It's okay. Yeah. It, my shooting has been really good anyway. You're right. I have three things left to shoot. Um, I have the grenade into that. And then I have these two guardsmen squads. Um, did I fire his heavy bolter into that? No. Okay. I still have that to do too. Uh, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hitting on fives. One hit. One hit. Wow. That was pretty hot. All right. I'll do the. So I think it's worth it. I mean, I can just charge it with the Bulgrin. Then he explodes. Can't charge me. I'm airborne. All right. These 10 shooting at him. Or nine, actually, because one's a sergeant. Five? Yeah. Four hits. Five hits. Need sixes to wound. I do. Two wounds. You're a monster. Oh. Oh my God. I have no CP to reroll. <laughs> I know. You have your armor safe. Oh, He's I fine. Survived. It's okay. I have another squad. Or. Four hits. Five. Four hits. Yep. Looking for sixes. I know. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> okay. The only one I have left is the company commander. Platoon commander. He's chilling. Bolt pistol. No, he doesn't have a bolt pistol. He has a last pistol. <laughs> Don't think it matters. I want to see what he hits on, though. Because I know it might be actually on a four. Yep. It's He hits on, he hits on threes normally. And then does the astropath have a pistol? I've never looked it up. He does not. Okay. All right. Hitting on a four. No. Nope. All right. Well, I tried. You did. Yeah. It's really good. Uh, so then I'll do those Bulgrim grenade into them, into that guy, because I can. Five shots. And two hits. Wounding on fives. Nothing. All right. Um, charge phase. I can't charge him because he flies. Correct. Yes. Yeah. I'll charge these Bulgren first. I thought it was going to be like a seven inch, but it looks more like a <gasps> 10 inch. 
penance charge. Nope. Uh, the squad right in front is going to charge him. It's like a two inch charge, maybe three. Yeah. That's a five. Don't matter. They're the ones that have the plus one save, correct? No. No. Oh, yes. I'm sorry. They are the one the plus one save because I put it on them. The first turn was on them. Okay. So that's my charges. I forgot to shoot their last guns, too. Uh, which could have mattered because you can do both. That's what Alan told me. You could shoot the las guns and the mortars because they're both listed. Right. Pretty dumb, right? I'd say go ahead and roll them. So six shots. It is. So they're hitting on they're hitting on fours because the plus only applies to the um, heavy weapons. If he explodes, though, we have to resolve this that it hits those Volgren as well. It does. Yes. Absolutely. Okay. Four hits. Looking for sixes. Looking for sixes. Two ones. I know. I normally roll really bad, but not today. Only against you when the games don't matter. <laughs> oh, no. All right. All right. He explodes. So I'm going to... Yeah. So the Bulgren are, are in range, obviously. Well, it's 2d6 range. So if I roll like Snake Eyes, they might not have been in range. Okay. That's fair. That is absolutely the game, though. Like 100% decided. Um, um, You do d6 damage when you explode. Don't you? Yeah, but even so, I mean, you still have a lot of your DPS, and I have very little left. Like, on scoring, that's the game. Um, um, you still have Hive Guard? <laughs> you know. You're funny, man. Well, well, I how, don't explode. I thought he auto explode. On a 5 up. Uh, oh. Okay. Oh, blink. <laughs> no, that is absolutely This the game. game was dumb. I'm not going to lie. I got a lot luckier than I should have. All right. Bulgren attacks. So how many I have there? So that's, that's going to be five. So it's 21 attacks. Because mm -hmm. they're on the charge. Four. Seven. Ten. Thirteen. Sixteen. 17, 18. I'm missing three dice. I'll just re-roll three of them. Cool. So they're hitting on threes. Rerolling three of them. I, Bulgren, normally don't do really well in close combat. Is that doc, dice cocked? Yeah. I think it's cocked. I'll re-roll it right here. Okay. T5. Uh, so threes. Still enough to kill me if I roll bad on save. Um, I don't know. That was less than half. It's only five wounds. How many? How many? What's your... Are they multi damage? They are. They're flat. Too. Yeah, they're not it's, it's, it's only AP one though. Five up. Save two. Six is enough to kill him. Oh, okay. Fight on death. I mean, the Herodin's dead. You might as well. Yeah. Why not? Because because I have one with one wound left. Twos. Everything hits. Uh, uh, how much CP do I get? The CP that you spent. I, I do get. I gain one from that. So uh, strength. Did I already gain one this round? Not yeah, sure. Six. T... Yeah, yeah. Okay. Are you T five or six? T five. Okay. So threes with a reroll. With the reroll. Okay. All right. So um, these four are neg threes, D threes, and this is neg six flat three. Well, uh, I'll start with the neg three. Why not? You mean neg six? Yeah. No, the the neg three. Good. Uh, yeah. yeah, I'll just take the neg six. Sure. Well, because no, because I can slap down an invuln save. That's fair. So I'll take the neg because the guy who took it has the slap shield. Cool. So, so one of the four. And neg he's threes. gonna fail one of these. So neg three. So my save would be a four up. Okay. Because I'm plus one to save. No, that is the unit with the plus one. It is, yeah. Uh, so four up save on him. Nope. Okay, so he's dead. Oh, yeah. Okay. okay. So now I'm going to put the flat six on an oh, invuln guy. Flat three. Flat. Oh, uh, well, I'm still putting an invuln guy. It doesn't really matter. Three up. Good. 
All right. Um, can I switch these guys? Rest on the end ball. Sure. Minus threes. Good. Makes it. Makes Good. it. Makes it. Good. Effective use of two CP. Yeah, that was that was. You, you should have killed one more. And I'll consolidate. I have reserves coming in, but that's only any score me like engage. Like it's not gonna score me. Uh, you yeah. can you can come in. Well, if you tag my tanks, mm -mm. I still mm -mm. have two demolishes, and my reserves haven't dropped yet. There's there's zero right. way. Like you'd yeah. have to roll all ones for the rest no, of the right. game on everything. You're right. <laughs> you you the only damage you're left is a brood lord, right? Yep. And maybe two hive guard, which. Wow. That's the end of the, that's the end of the turn. Uh, do I die to morale here? Because I didn't save myself two CP. I'm okay. We live the dream. Ooh, I get ten points. Five points. Yep. <laughs> you wish. Cool. Yeah, it was pretty one-sided. But when I roll that much, yeah. it's just like. Last, last guns killed it. <laughs> no, we're not gonna we're gonna not gonna get to because those are supposed to fire and mortar fire. Yes. That's true. Okay, that's technically right. Technically the Bullgrin chopped the grenade up straight in the air. It went kerplam. Yeah, that's fair. My god. Wow. Savagery. No, no, didn't one of those guys plink a wound off? Oh, he saved all of them? Okay. Oh. <laughs> it's huge. He's just this big arm. Well, you're assuming a Bulgarian can even say the sentence. They're pretty dumb. <laughs> so he's like, oh, a grenade. Ugh. Like the, the... Yeah, that was. Uh... What do you even say to that? The thing is, though, you probably would have died if I had remembered to drop my reserves, because I would have had eight. Yeah. I would have had eight melted gun shots. Well, yes, but also like you, you had a demolisher that I think, like, if if that demolisher died, I still think I killed it. Maybe four four melted gun shots, hitting on threes versus though the like what the eight shots he got that like yeah, five same. hit. It's the same number of yeah. It's the same number of shots though, because because they get they get the meltas would get reroll fail wounds and it's d six plus two, which yeah. is for one squad of them. It's possible with exploding sixes. It's it's possible for sure. Yeah, I I would think that the melted guns have a better chance than the monster tank because it's a solid eight shots. Yeah, yeah, but it doesn't matter. I'm going to with the brood lord. can't beat me if i roll all sixes that's, that's how you know no i mean literally that's uh, i rolled I mean, three six two six nine. it's like oh yeah i'm gonna spend all these cp and take mortals to make it so i wound you on twos and kill your tanks automatic oh wait but you rolled a bunch of sixes never mind i rolled two sixes i only needed one it's enough no what happened was your wound roll you rolled like one or two ones yeah. that's what did it um me rolling one six was enough which was lucky, but on three dice, you look at the math. Yeah, it, two sixes it, was not. Two, well, it didn't, but it didn't matter. Yeah. Like, like if he was at two wounds, it wouldn't matter because I have relentless. So it's just like. Yeah. You, you no, had I mean, to take, I had, I had you to had to take him off the table. Absolutely. Right? Like it would matter if this game was still happening. Um, but because the hive guard whiffed. Yeah. So. Well, they also died horribly. Um. I mean, we definitely anticipated whoever went first was going to cause a boatload of damage. Yeah, that was one. I mean, the Paragon, yeah. as you saw, with a little bit, a little bit better roll than your side, you definitely would have killed two tank commanders. Without a doubt. Without a doubt. You should have killed two tank commanders, without a doubt. Yeah. But even so, I don't think it was kind of... I mean, if you look at a live, mm -hmm. it depends, but... Mm, no, I don't know. Eight melted gun shots with Scions? Yeah, if you wouldn't have shot, you could have killed two. Yeah, he would have been dead. D6. Because they, they have reroll failed wounds, so it's just like, yeah. He's 
guys are coming on up. Even coming up and around over these crates. Zooming three. Rolling that big advance. They're fine there. The hive guard are there. Reserves. Uh, the one dude is doing scramblers in the middle, of course, because why not? Nine. Is there anyone here who can heroic intervene? Can Bulgren heroic no. or anything? No. No. It's a nine. That's a nine. That's pretty well screened, honestly. I don't think I can get in there. Mm. Maybe worth it to honestly just go for the bigger charge on the vehicle. It is. Especially. I can hide out of line of sight. I think you can still gunnery experts, man. Well. Can the rippers wipe the mortars? No, I was thinking about tying up the tank. So that's probably actually a good idea as well. I think it might be worth wiping. I do have a hero here. Yeah. Um, But it might be worth trying to kill the. Because I'm just going to counter charge with Bulgren and yeah. wipe them. But over here, like, I can't. And you could potentially get the mana cores. I don't think I can get in the mana cores. Uh, okay. uh, if you wipe them, I guess I would charge you. Like, well, I was with reserves though. What can I even get in there to get at the mana core? It would. You would have. To, it would be multiple turns of. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, no, I'm not. I'm not no. factoring for multiple turns at the moment because I don't see that really being. You're right. You're, a valid you're, you're, strategy. You, you are correct. You don't. I think the other problem you have is my screen is better than yours. This is an issue you've had in a lot of our games. So for the audience, what I mean by that is, I uh, my guardsmen when they get in rapid fire range because his guys are strength or key three a wound on fours which is a huge deal when firing these las guns and in previous games uh where it was screen versus screen and i was starting to do first rank fire second rank fire so i was getting 36 shots plus a grenade into his guys wounding on fours was a really really big deal and i remember the first time we played it was really shocking it was jarring for you to watch your guys die to my sh my screen yeah, I mean, I expect their offense to be comparable to mine, but mine honestly is... um Because he has strengths for shotguns, so you would think, okay, you're wounding on threes, it's just a better deal, but the volume of fire from first rank, second yeah, rank no, was absolutely. just out of this world good. All right, so moved. Reserves are down here, so I'm comfortably scoring um, not a full engage, but another If you had your engage. field opinion on that, you would have scored. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, once again, that's just one more advantage of going first, though. You know what I mean? Like. Well, also the movement, not error, but the movement decision. True. But um, additionally, I could have just chosen to stay still or move minimum twenty and still gotten it. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. If if you well, the minimum, yeah. And if you were sitting right there instead, um, and then you got the feel no pain, it'd be because like game. me going first here, I had two tanks visible. I didn't really have to move to get it the feel no pain. I think that was I think that was a mistake. Um. But um, but that being said, being back here, knowing that you were going to take out two tanks statistically yeah. was super likely. was kind of like, yeah, that makes sense. Okay, so they all move. That's all my reserves going into Psychic, going to the Broodlord. He's going to smite. He doesn't have the plus one. Who's he smiting? Uh, the Bullgrin of the closest visible because technically we can see through the holes there. Yeah. Uh, gets it off. D3. Oh, I get Just, a deny. I oh, get yeah. a deny on you're your right, eight. You're right. You're right. He's an astropath. He failed. But uh, one. Oh, okay. Mortal. I'll put it on the guy with the uh, bar shield. Um. All right. Going to the psychic phase. They advance. Their guns are assault, though. So I mean, I might as well take shots where Did I can. Did you drop your lictor? Uh, no, that's intentional. Okay. Cause um, scramblers is a thing. It is. And shooting. I'm gonna shoot this squad, I guess. Sure. One guy. He doesn't hit. All right. Why wouldn't he hit? Um, I. Oh no, I do. I, um, you I'm in the forest. Yep. Yeah, I'm talking about. I wound one AP or no AP. Scrub. <laughs> Which squad did you shoot? The cat chance. Guys. You got him. All right. Looks like I'm getting Dead. to me. Dead. He tried. At the bull grin, they advance, so they are minus one here. It looks like six. That's how many dice I'm holding. That's convenient. So, five. okay, rolls. Where were you when I was rolling in Vols? Stop. And, um. Three wounds? Captain's four or five? On what? A bull grin. Five. Five, so nothing. Why'd you shoot? Oh, they're not minus one. 
They also only have 12 inch range, so there's nothing else for them to shoot. Oh, true. Um. Yeah, right. you're in range. That unit advanced. This unit did not. Well, it doesn't matter. You're minus one anyway. You're right. One, two. You one, can roll three. them together if you're going to target the same. Yeah, it's all going at the same. Yep. Well, hold on. Let's see. Uh, two. Three. Are you going to do the action? The full um, he action? did it. He did it. We got an objective. Deploy scramblers. Oh, he shot. I wasn't supposed to no, shoot. No, deploy scramblers is um, you don't need to be on an objective for deploy scramblers. No, I know. Okay, but you're not out. Are you outside of six inches of your deployment zone? I moved up. I thought I was, but I could not be. Here, how about this? We'll slide him like this, so you are, and then we'll put that guy back. We'll cool. Say you did that it. works for me. That way. Generous, appreciated. Wow, you've been pretty generous with me for getting half of my unit shooting at the same time, so I guess it only mattered with the last one. <laughs> Which Four, is a sentence you don't hear often, right? Six. And ten. Firing at the dudes in the trees, looking for fives, uh -oh. picking up my hit. Mm -hmm. And rolling a wound. Two, Two saves. To strength four. Which squad did you hit? The first squad? Uh, squad. Oh, it's more than one squad. That was the one that's up front. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Um, other shooting. Oh, yeah, I have two hive guard. Um, I guess I'll shoot at that one damage tank, because who knows? I could get lucky and destroy it. Chances are I'm not. But um, I'm minus one to hit. Because I'm not in synapse range, and Tyranids don't... Uh, uh, what's the AP in that? Minus two. They're plus one of their save right now. I'm going to spend a CP for take cover. Uh, just so you know, that weapon ignores uh, the benefits of cover. Does that? Hold on. The, 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 the ignores the save bonus from cover, so if you count as being in cover and get like the light... Yeah, but it doesn't count as in cover. It gets plus one to their... If they just get plus one to their saves, save. as it's worded, then you're probably fine. We're going to look at it right now. Because if it goes off, if it works, I get a two up. Yeah. Which is dumb. But Bullgrim with slab shields are real. Wait, I'm not shooting at the Bullgrim. Why are you shooting at the Bullgrim? No, I'm shooting at the tank. Oh, doesn't matter. All right. Fails, fails. Okay. And force. One save. Minus two. He goes through. T3. Just one. You don't Purple want to, You don't want to CP that? Nope. And going to the charge phase. Charging time. All right. Um, Charging here. Need a nine. Nope. Charging here. Need a nine. That's uh, eight. Charging the Broodlord, the Bulgrins. Yeah. Don't know what I need, but uh, he probably makes it. Is he reroll charges? Uh, no, not inherently. That's the front. Oh, yeah, I'm definitely getting it. Oh, yeah, you're slapping me around. Are you charging your grunts into them, too? Uh, These guys advanced, so, but these guys did not. So I will charge the Gaunts there. I was thinking about charging here, but you're going to keep the objective. I'm better off just denying you that. So the Gaunts are going to charge the Bulgrin as well. <laughs> Power hitting here. Uh, that's the seven. Just I might have it. I think you have it. Oh, yeah. Right, that's this unit. So this is seven. Yeah, super got it. Yeah, you got it. So let's go seven. Boom. Yeah. Three, six, nine, ten. That's right. I mean, honestly, I'm pretty decent now, too, just looking at eyeballing stuff. Of course, I can't really say that with my tank being a quarter oh. inch out of range. <laughs> uh, and that's all my charges. So going into the fight phase. Um. Obviously, I'm going to go first with the Broodlord, because, yes. um... You have to. Yeah. We don't have to, but we should. 
three, four, five, and six. Let me get my dice out of your way. Hitting on twos, one miss. Okay. Uh, threes with a reroll. Yep. With sixes doing. Wow. With the reroll. Okay. Uh, so four saves at minus three, D threes each. Okay, so the first one is the slab shield. So he has a two up, is a one up. You said minus three. So that'd be a four up. Dead. Okay. He has one one left. Oh, does he have two left? Two. Okay, go ahead and roll it. How much damage is it? Two. Okay, okay. And then there's three left, right? Yep. Okay. And these are three of him ones. Good. Build none. All right, any interrupt here? For your gaunts? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think so, too, yeah. Huh? Uh, nothing. They took one wound off of the tank. Yeah. I probably would have fired them at the Bulgarn, personally. I don't think I can kill your hive guard or your gaunt, all your gaunts, though. How many do you have there? Three, six, ten. Of them. ten. I, get, I get exactly ten attacks now. So I'll put them into your, I'll put them into your lord. Oh, he's based. No. Oh, good point. So actually, only two go into the broodlord. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. I understand. Three, five, six, and then this is the ten. So I'm gonna hit on threes and wound on threes. Okay. Looking for threes. There it is. Five wounds. Five gaunts will die. No, this is a near. Oh, Lord. Brood Lord. Yeah. AP one. Five saves two. I still have a CP here. These are two damage each. Yes. I got the CP. Might as well use it. Yeah. Gotta live the dream. He's alive with one. Or, yeah, one, I think. Maybe two. Got it. Now, all, now your gaunts get to do their thing. Ooh. Getting to do my thing. Let's pile in, obviously. Get you back here, base. He's barely not base. Base him. Base both these models. If it's hold two, hold is it hold two, hold three? So the first turn, I should have only scored, or no, I because I only had two objectives because I lost the middle one. So I yeah, that's be true. At, I should be at five for the sec for the beginning of the second turn. Yeah. Good clean forty k. Sorry about that. Sorry, audience. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Three, four, five, six, seven gaunts attacking. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, gaunts. I believe in you. Yikes. Hitting on fours. Three was, hits. Moving on fives. Yeah. Oh, one of them is uh feeling snappy. Took it. Take a damage. Took it. Perfect. And uh, besides that, that's that's what I got. Um, so I score engage. Uh, yeah, score two points for engage. Yep, yep. And, and I did the second part of scramblers. Have killed no more characters. Yeah. Do you want to call it now? I'm gonna I'm gonna be dropping the line break in your back line from now. On. Yeah. But I say I can I can pretty much guarantee like unless you sweep your whole army this way and even then that probably opens a gap here. I even put melt against the Yeah. And then the kill that one Definitely. And then I'm gonna drop on that objective there. My only point being is I could probably still score scramblers because of like there. You can but... still score scramblers. Alright, so let's uh Woof. Mm -mm. Uh, I don't know. Mm, I don't know if maybe. <laughs> I don't know if we'll get engaged. Got a unit here. Yeah, I mean, it's a maybe. <laughs> I don't think you can. I think you can get like 14 with, against my army.
No. Uh, so I killed is eight gaunts or eight squads eight of gaunts. Gaunts, eight gaunts. Exocrine. Yeah. Paradin. So yep. ten points right there. Yeah. You're gonna get ten points for the combination of the venom tropes, the hive guard, and one brood lord. Eleven. Yep. That's it. That's about it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and the rippers. The rippers. Um. Yeah. It's not gonna count enough. Mm-hmm. You're gonna five. score five, yeah. Mm-hmm. But I'll but I'll probably Yeah. 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 So you get forty of forty five. Cause, Cause so like realistically how my turn will go is and you'll be denied primaries probably the rest yeah. of the Yeah, almost certainly. Cause Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, I mean, the realistically, what's going to happen is I'm just going to fall back with the bull run. Can you? Yeah. yeah unless you kill oh, the gaunts. True. Okay. Never mind. I do. Yeah. 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 And then the mortar team and the tank and the demolisher tank. Demolisher tanks are going to start cleaning up your gaunts. Yeah. Right. Just like max twelve. Oh yeah, absolutely. Max twelve shots for both, and then like, yeah. 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 No kidding. Do you want to get lunch? I'm good. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Woof. Good game, man. I Wish I gave you a better one. <laughs> that wasn't your fault. I blame myself. Why? Are oh, they feeling no pain? I guess. Ah, uh, that's a thing, but I, guess. I should have rolled for first turn. That's really where I fucked up. Well, so now that I've seen it, yeah, because honestly, like, I wonder, because if first... you if you had picked up two tanks, yes, right, and then it was my turn, yeah, because because what happened was I was able to kill that Exocrine. Because I would have had two turns of Herodin shooting before your reserves even came in. Yeah. So that's yeah. a factor. Whoever this this was a dice roll. Whoever went first, I still think you were advantaged, even though I went first. I, I agree with you. I, I came out at a surprising advantage, in my opinion. Um, like I was expecting. Your turn two is really what shocked me. I think. Um, I think turn one was pretty devastating because I I knocked out your hive guard. I knocked bad. out your exocrine. Yes, a demolisher tank pooped out and did nothing. Yeah, which was kind of shitty. Um, but and then I I killed Gantz, which was relevant. Yeah. Um. So, yeah. Yeah. Uh, um, but but it wasn't as good as it should have been if I had measured properly and if I had had a better understanding of the rules and how this would have worked because I would have gotten um more shots into that. Definitely. Because yeah, if you would have been in the terrain, you could see through the walls. Because then all of a sudden, right. So then all of a sudden, if I'm right here, because I could have been easily right here. Yeah. Right. So that would have been two, four, five, d six shots. Well, and that's that. the thing too is that like prior to the game. Um, and this is, I don't think that's either of our faults technically, because like we didn't, we we've been playing previously, like every single game, the bottom level completely obscured, like old right. ITC. Right, right. So honestly, like that wasn't like me trying to be oh, shifty, no, no, and no. that wasn't like you, like it was not playing it right. It was me, yeah. 